Hey guys, it's week 16 in the NFL, week 16 in the league. Uh, this is the big week, big week. Um, we have uh, the NFL in a weird wonky holiday thing, which is good. I kind of like it. Uh, let's go over first thing first. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday Night Football, Chris will be hosting. He is going to do his 14 shots. Yes, I know Rob. I know Rob is concerned that we are going to kill Chris. So Chris, if at any time you don't feel you want to keep going, that's fine. We don't want to kill you. Rob has voiced his opinion and his hands are washed of this situation. Uh, so feel free to come by Chris's. Uh, arrive at 8. Bring your own booze, of course. Uh, grab like a six-pack or something. And head on down. Come watch the game. It's uh, Giants versus Philly. So, you know, should be a good one. Divisional rivals. Come on. The real show is Chris because we want to... We want Chris to get those 14 shots. I think Chris now holds the record of shots because Mike last year had 12. Correct me if I'm wrong, George and or Mike. Uh, NFL 506. We're going to try to get through this real quick this week, guys. Uh, Indy versus Oakland is the CBS late game. That's the single. Thank God I hate CBS. Uh, Fox is the doubleheader uh, at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Remember, it's Saturday, not Sunday. Packers versus Vikings. Oh, so good. Get to watch that live. Good. And uh, later, Dale, I'm, I'm sure Dale is excited about this, Tampa, New Orleans will be televised as the late game that day. Um, let's just move right into, from there, uh, Saturday. Remember, it's Saturday, not Sunday, because of Christmas. There are Christmas games, though. Uh, Saturday, uh, my Packers take on the Vikings, as I said. Uh, also, 1 o'clock, Falcons take on the Panthers after the hot, hot win in uh, Washington there. So, uh, uh, I think the Falcons should be able to wipe the floor, but that'll be a good game. Uh, Bucks New Orleans at four, and another four o'clock. Jerry's Seattle Seahawks versus uh, TJ's old cards before he moved here. That's a good. That should be a good one. Uh, Sunday night or would be Saturday night football is going to be uh, Bengals versus Texans. I mm, uh, hope that's good. Uh, uh, Xmas is going to be while you're with your families, and we are not doing Xmas. Don't show up here like clawing like cats at my door. I'll be with my family. Uh, You'll be with yours, I'm assuming. Uh, Steelers are at 4.30 versus the Ravens. Should be a good game, which I'm glad it's on NFL Network, and my mom doesn't have cable. Fantastic. Uh, then we have the Broncos versus the Chiefs. Hopefully that'll be a good thing. Hopefully the Chiefs' defense, you know, does what it did against the Titans, but worse on the Broncos and shuts down Demarius. That's just me hoping for something. And then what most of you are waiting for, Monday Night Football, the Dallas Cowboys versus the Detroit Lions. If the Lions win, they pretty much guarantee themselves a playoff spot. If they lose, just start looking at that wild card spot, guys. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. All right. It's championship weekend. Let's look into this real quick. I'm not going to go over the dog shirt teams. Uh, it's Jerry versus Chinny. All I want to note is that Jerry's playing weird ass players that even Jordan and I have never heard of, like fucking the running back goop glop guy out of the Chargers. Who the fuck is that? That's, that guy's not doing anything. Jerry, if I have to fucking, if I have to fucking mail you your shirt, I'm gonna instead buy a plane ticket, fly out there, and punch you right in the dick. That's what's gonna happen. Sorry, Chinny, you deserve it. I love you, but I don't want to mail this goddamn. I hate mailing stuff. Like when I had to mail the trophy, it was it was ridiculous. Uh, but that was okay because it's TJ. Not you, Jerry. You. The only reason you're there is because you don't fucking set your lineup, you ass. Anyway, those are your two dog shirt. Uh, we'll see how that goes for them. It could be decided on Monday night. We'll see. I can't wait. I'm excited. Now, looking forward to the championship. Uh, this is weird because I'm not used to actually talking about myself. Usually I can run down both teams and all that uh, without any bias, but I am unfortunately biased because I'm there. Um, Mike and myself, East versus West. Uh, congratulations, Mike, on, on defeating Matt. Uh, I'll congratulate myself on beating Nubs, which apparently everybody wanted since they think Nubs is just like fumbling on through the league. Uh, let's go over Mike's team. Mike's got Andrew Luck. It's Andrew Luck. This kid's been, like, great ever since he showed up. Been consistent for Mike, great. The scariest part. Johnson and Bell. Oh, my God, his his running backs. His running backs are... <sighs> These three alone, if he sat all of his players and played those three and I still had my entire team, I would still be worried about winning, no matter what. Those three alone. Those guys could blow up. But the, but the Steelers are playing the Chiefs. Nah, Le'Veon finds a way to fuck... Will find a way to fuck me. And Johnson, well... The Legion of Boom isn't what it used to be, so. Uh, moving on, his wide receiver, Demarius Thomas. His other one, Doug Baldwin. Dougie B is a hit and miss. Depends on how Ru Russell Wilson is. Uh, spoiler, I'm not starting Wilson. I don't want anything to do with that. Uh, Wilson's fucked me a lot, and, well, 
I hope Baldwin doesn't get it. Uh, Thomas, Thomas, same thing. It could be hit or miss depending on how the Chiefs' defense is. He could fucking get all the touchdowns. He could get none. He could get a couple of receptions. You know, you never know. You never know. Your tight end is Eifert. Uh, I ain't got much to say about him. Uh, Howard, that guy, that guy is in your flex right now for Chicago. He could explode. Chicago has been weird this year, and it's another one of your guys that, you know, could go crazy. You picked up the Chargers D, I noticed. Uh, I wish I would have thought of that. Uh, kudos to you. Playing Cleveland, there should be a lot of interceptions and a lot of bullshit. Unless Cleveland finally gets their first win, which we can only hope. Uh, and your kicker is Matthew Prater. That might be your most important part. We'll come back to that. My team real quick. Run down Marcus Mariota, uh, Frank Gore, Thomas Rawls. They're all average guys. Nothing above average, nothing below. Normal guys. My wide receivers are the same as Mike's running backs. That's what's going to carry me. I need Cooks to do what he did last week. At least half of what he did last week. Again, with New Orleans playing Tampa. I'm not sure that he will. I think Tampa's going to cover him and shut him down. But i got to play him because I need him. Antonio Brown playing against the Chiefs. Same thing. Could get shut down. I'd like him to get more than six points like he did last week. Touchdown or so. That'd be great. Uh, tight end. I, I have no idea. I am rolling between Ebron, Henry, and Gates like a revolving door right now until the damn thing's set. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, Flex, same thing. It's either going to be Coleman or Lockett or some... I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, defense, I picked back my Steelers back up. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm hoping that's a real defensive game. I don't trust Blacko. I think he could throw an interception. I think he could get sacked a couple times. But I don't know. Hopefully low scoring game. I don't know. I don't know. And now, Dan freaking Bailey. Dan Bailey was heart crushing the week before with zero points, but came through this week. But it could come down to Monday night kicker versus kicker. And that's the scariest fucking thing to me because I don't like, I don't like that at all. I don't like that any of that. But I'm excited. Hope you guys are. Uh, one thing I forgot at the beginning. We're going to go through this real quick. Uh, beers. Beer tasting. We, pff, we have no beer tasting this week. Because next week is whiskey. So you want to be here for that. Whiskey tasting. New Year's Day. So don't get too drunk New Year's Eve. Come here. New Year's Day. Get drunk on whiskey. Most of you don't have to work on Monday anyways. I want you all to have a very happy Christmas. Uh, those of you I don't see. Um, I'll either see you at Christmas or Saturday. That's about it, guys. All right. Go Pack Go. For the love of Christ. Pull it off, Phantom Lacey. And I'll see you all Saturday or next Sunday.